it was European club football showpiece. For too many, it showed the football experience at its worst. This was two hours before kickoff. Fans complained of crushing as a police line prevented them from approaching the stadium. When the crowd was allowed to move, the problem shifted closer to the ground. UEFA says that what happened then was that fans who'd bought fake tickets caused a build-up at the Liverpool end. What transpired was a robust police operation that saw officers giving chase and using tear gas. UEFA said it was to disperse numbers that had built up and to force them away from the stadium. Fans queuing to get in were caught up in a chaotic scene. What's going on? What is going on? I mean, it's it, 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 absolutely it, shambolic. It, you know, the French, their organisation and UEFA is just horrendous. We're getting tear gas, we're getting charged with shields. It's an absolute joke. We go to Anfield every week and everything's fine. What are they, who are they chasing now, a child? It's an absolute joke. Liverpool Football Club have issued a statement saying they're hugely disappointed with what happened here. They've called for a formal investigation. They say this is the greatest match in European football and supporters shouldn't have to put up with what happened. The Red Army left the Stade de France bound for a Sunday parade through Liverpool. They did, after all, win a domestic double of trophies. It'll be a celebration to remember after a night to forget. James Matthews, Sky News, in Paris.